Hello Angie. It's been a while, but I just read this book called How to Tell Toledo from the Night Sky by Lydia Netzer. It explores that place that sci-fi also tends to explore. This place between cold scientific fact and then mysticism and spirituality and human emotion and the place where those things intersect. I really just love that whole genre, whether it's a, in a science fiction-y sort of world that it's presented, or if it's presented in a way like this where it's not, you know, on the planet Zarth. So basically it's about astronomers. Uh, <laughs> and it's a love story, and it kind of questions, like, how much of this love story is fate and how much of this is, uh, something that has been manipulated. The characters are pretty great. They're wonderfully quirky. I have a kind of a complaint that I feel like all of the characters put together are so quirky that I feel like it's too many quirky characters for one book. Like, it can't really be believed. I mean, even if you tried to suspend your disbelief and be like, well, I mean, there are all these high-level academics and, you know, they're all a little bit out there and you're still just like, eh, I don't know. When I talked before about how I like um, that like blend of, of science and mysticism, I really like the mysticism, the mysticism um, to be understated, where it's sort of this subtle, barely there, like you get to question whether it's really there or do the characters just believe it to be there. There was no ambiguity as to whether or not it was really there. It kind of made me feel like the whole thing was a little bit unbelievable. Uh, another thing I loved was, I don't... I think I've probably been to, like, the Toledo Zoo or whatever. Like, I'm sure I was in Toledo as a kid. I think there are some touristy attractions there. But I've never, you know, walked around and explored Toledo, and it's never really occurred to me to want to walk around and explore pretty much anywhere in Ohio, because Ohio is not really... I don't know, it's just not like a place that, that calls to me when I think travel, adventure, interesting things. And she really made Toledo come alive in a way that made me want to go there. Also, narwhals? Apparently there are narwhals, like, in the, in the, in the river? I mean, is that a thing? I think she might be lying to me. I'm gonna have to look this up, but it would be a weird thing to make up for a book. I mean, narwhals in Ohio? I need to, I need to know. Um, <laughs> uh, so... Another thing I really, really, really love is her Her writing style is really fantastic and it really took off in this book where it's, it's very witty and kind of cynical. My favorite character is Bellion, Archmage of the Underdark. He's pretty fantastic. Definitely. Uh, I don't know if I would like him in real life, but I thought that he gave this story some pretty great flavor. I would really like to make a video sometime that just discusses um, sex in novels and particularly the, the type of sex that female characters experience in novels. There's a sex scene here that, that hmm, hmm, that's all I'm gonna say. So yeah, good book. Um, it talks about black holes and astronomy and science and love and weird medical conditions and um, it's good stuff. 